what we do in the towing and recovery business, it, it tends to be fairly routine. You're being called by law enforcement generally, or you're being called by customers, hey, I need you to pick up a disabled car. We work a lot of times with first responders, the fire, the EMS, so that's nothing new, but this was a unique experience that we're the first responder. That's not your typical day. It was just like any, any other day and everything. Andre actually has a full-time job with the city of Tuscaloosa, and in the afternoons, he, he picks up some of the calls, especially if we have like one run in the afternoon, and that's what he did that day. I went to pick up a call that was out of town. On the way back, there was a fire truck blocking the road, and I had to detour about five miles out of the way. He's coming down 171, and that's when he sees a lady flagging him down in the road. And then that's when he looks off the shoulder of the road and he sees a car that's overturned and in flames. I popped on the tow lights and jumped out and asked her was if, if anyone was in the car. And that's when she told me it was her baby that was in the car. I remember my baby, that's all I was thinking about. I had to flag down the first person I could see because I didn't even, I was in shock. I remember the look on her face when she said her baby was in the car. It was that of a scared mother. All I could think was, that mother's not gonna see her baby die in that fire tonight. I literally ran down the hill and um, all I could think was just get the baby out, get the baby out. When I first got to the car, I started pulling on door handles. That was you know, instinct. And um, that wouldn't work, so I started, I squatted and started punching at the window. That didn't work, so I, I laid on my stomach and that's when I backhanded it twice and that's when the window broke. I couldn't keep my eyes open even though it was dark because there was so much smoke. And uh, I remember feeling through clothes and everything and trying to feel for the baby. I noticed that the fire had broken through the firewall and, and when I felt the heat, I just started praying and, you know, let me get this baby. And the next time I reached, I grabbed his little ankle and just started pulling him out, cuffed him in my left arm and started up the hill. I handed her the baby and I thought the car was gonna blow as it does, as they do in the movies, you know? And I got them behind the tow truck. That's when people started to stop and you know, see what was going on. He's got a very soft heart, especially for the kids, um, that and he's gonna do whatever he needs to do to help somebody out. If he can do it, he's gonna do it. I don't feel like a hero. I feel like everything was all God's timing, putting me there. And when you're put in a position like that, me not acting right then would have resulted in that baby dying. I think the real heroes are the guys who make it possible for us to be here safely right now. I think the police officers, the fire, they're the real heroes because they actually signed up to do stuff like that, you know. That little guy, he's so full of life. You know, it's just cool to see him running around playing and it's great to see him, you know, growing and everything and to know that I played a part in, you know, him still being here is pretty cool. He's a great kid, he's like any other kid, you know, wants to have fun. When you come across something like that, I think um, the way I was raised, um, help people any way you can. I'm very thankful to have someone like that in our lives. But yeah, he's a great person, he really is. My name is Andre Harris, and I'm a Wheeling Everyday Champion.